And welcome back guys, welcome back to Korra. Alright, so it's been a while since I've played the game, and I apologize for that, but if you were watching this in a playlist, you wouldn't even know that. But anyways, alright, so we are now continually trying to walk, following our guide. We got all these little guys, what's it say? Piggle. Pingle. I wonder if each one of them are going to say something different. So yeah, I really don't know how far we are into this game. Um, based on my achievements, I got about half of them, so... Unless some of them are like, gotta beat the game so many times type of achievement. I don't know when this game's gonna be over, but I really do enjoy this game anyways, so let's get started. So only one of those creatures, oh wait, Prangle. Pingle and Prangle and Pongle. I see. Very interesting. And you say Pungle. So we're we gonna use all the vowels? How about you? Vowel sound? Pangle. How about you, sir? You're the last one I've talked to. Pingle? Pangle? Pungle? Hi, I'm Jeff. I hope you've been... Wait, wait. I hope you've been lighting incense at all the shrines throughout the game. Well, Mr. Jeff, I have been. And I'm glad that you're happy that I have been. So, yeah. I'm sure there's going to be a bunch more. Man. Oh, look, at there's uh, another one. I bet you something will happen when I light this one. Pretty sure. I mean, how could you not do it? Because they're... They're there for a reason. Wait. Oh yeah, let's go up here. I bet you something will happen. It'll either be an achievement or be something special. But let's uh, let's go ahead and find out. And oh, I guess that one wasn't any special than the others. I'm sure we'll figure out at the end, guys, what needs to happen with this. All right, we'll see you, bunny hippopotamuses. I don't even know what they are. They're cute looking, whatever they are. Oh, we've now reached. Oh. I wonder what that's look like if like everybody like when people die and their souls leave their body if you believe in such a thing that's what it just looks like when they mass amount and they're headed to look like they're all rising to like you know heaven or whatnot but it's pretty creepy and now it's gone silent bye bye ooh what was gonna say I didn't like it being super quiet like that for too long. New song, though. Are we going to be climbing a mountain now? Is that what we're doing? I'm glad I, I haven't, like, you know, starved to death or, you know, dehydrated or anything. I mean, I guess if I get hungry, I can eat those little hippopotamus guys or something. Hold on one second, guys. All right. Sorry about that. Okay. So now we're at a little village. We're finally at some place. Civiliz civilization. At least it seems. Oh, you finally have stopped. Are you going to go up? Well? Nothing? You're just going to chill there? Okay. Well, it doesn't seem like I can reach any of those people, but... Let's go inside. Or knock on the door. Who's there? Oh, hi, Floaty. Ah, another one of them, huh? This one's a weakling, this one. He ain't making it up that snow without no warm fuzzy on his brain cap. I got it right here. You received a winter hat. It's cold up there, let me tell you. Most of them still dangling like a popsicle up top. So you best watch them boots of yours. It's white heavy and jagged before you even know it. I got a good feeling about this one, though, for sure. But heck, you gotta get your suit up, boy. Put on that ugly old sweater and the fuzzy. Aw, I look awesome. Well, the old garden needs tendon. You get a good climb and go when you hear me. Watch him, Floaty. His name's Floaty. Well, I'm glad we've got that. Great Grandma. Well, that's good. Thank you, Grandma, for uh, everything. Can I go down that right side, actually? Nope. Guess that's it. Well, I knew that sweater would come in handy, and I had a feeling we were going to be climbing a mountain. Nothing really different. Um, what was I going to say? This isn't like Mount Everest or anything like that, but yeah, we're climbing a mountain. It would be really nice if I didn't have to cut through all of these things. I guess that's part of the adventure. It would be like in real life. 
you know. There's, there's not too much more. Do do. Mm hmm. Whoa. Is that the future? Is that what it looked like in the past? A bit more futuristic? Huh. It's pretty cool. Sucks that it's not there anymore, though. Ugh. Hello, stupid, stupid notifications that always pop up only when I'm doing videos. Oh. Oh, he's a giant mole bear something or another. We're going to probably play a song and it'll probably come up, right? Yeah, we're going to have to climb the top of this. $20 says I'm going to have to climb up the top of this, play the music, and he's going to appear. And hopefully he'll be nice because... All the, all the other ones were nice. It was just that one that was kind of grumpy about us. But, he, you know, it's not like he was a boss fight or anything like that. Doom, doom. All right. Oh, no, not again. This blasted condition. I apologize for my frustration. It seems my epilepsy has yet again landed me somewhere I shouldn't be. But I don't even have the slightest clue how long I've been out. Last thing I remember was walking home from bingo down at the church. Well, I mustn't dwell in my misfortune. I've got to get back home. My brisket in the slow cooker must be finished by now. So long. You, know, you enjoy that brisket, sir, and hope you did good at bingo. Alright. Feeling chilly. Seems like every time we uh, we face a, a friend or a monster or ancient creature, we get an achievement. Bye bye me. Doom. Do doom. A lot of times I'm just quiet in these videos just because the music's nice, so if I just stop talking, that's why. Alright, old floaty. I'm coming. I look like Santa Claus. I like ug ugly holiday sweaters anyways. Oh, geez. A million steps. But at least I don't have to cut anything. There's the sound of the wind. Hope you're dressing up floating. I mean, you're kind of dead in your spirit. But I don't know. Do spirits get cold? What are you imbeciles doing down there? Come up these stairs. Your Highness, we can't. It's not that difficult. Put one foot in front of the other and climb these steps now. We tried, Your Highness. Look, it won't let us through this gate. Well, then go around the gate. We tried that, too. Ooh. See, it won't let us through. God, you're all useless. If you can't get up here, then I'm going on without you. I'm almost there anyway. Alright then. You're not too nice. So it appears to be uh, some sort of a gate. Oh, look at those things. At first I thought they were waving at me at first, but no, oh, they look like foxes or something. Fennec foxes, snow foxes. Whatever they are, I'm friendly. Don't eat me. Good thing I put on my sweater and my hat, or I'd be frozen popsicle. I wonder if we're going to see any dead bodies from of others. She did say that there are other dead people, but maybe these guys will try to eat me. Maybe that's another danger. Who knows? But don't worry, we're going to reach the top. Hopefully, there's something of essence at the top. I suppose. <laughs> Oh, and another thing to light. Now I'm like cliffhanger here. I have to go all the way down and get that uh, torch. You better all add up for something. I'm lighting all these. Dun, dun, dun. Oh, wait. Um, UFOs? Are you going to abduct me, sir? Or abduct him? Oh, uh, well then. Well, that's not good. Isolationist. 
Well, that's not good. I hope that doesn't happen to me. Seemed like it was a very long time ago. Hey, at least a guy broke the block for me so I could get down or get across. How do I get down to that one? Oh, I think I know how. It's probably once I get to the next screen, there'll be an area where I can go lower and then I can just go back to the screen on the lower level. That's what I'm going to assume. Wait, 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 wait. How do I get back? Or how do I get down? Hmm. I guess there isn't a way. Just yet. We'll figure it out. If I don't get to them all, then I don't get to them all. I'm not like... This is the first time I've ever played this game, so... It's weird that there's snow except for this area. Hopefully somebody's home. Wait. Do something. Oh, I'm climbing the house? Oh, am I Santa Claus? Am I going down the chimney? I bet you that's what I'm going to do. No? Wait. Wait, what am I doing? Um. Alright, well, I, I climbed on the person's house, but let's actually see what's inside. What do I do? Oh, I'm going down. Oh, this is how I'm going to get to it. Vault 101. Ha. Huh. Is that a, uh... Is that a Fallout 3 reference? Because I like it. Letter on the wall. To whom it may concern. I'm writing this letter... The words are all smudged, and the paper is completely worn down. Well, that's not good. Well, I knew there was a way we'd get to that uh, candle, or the, to the statue. To whom it may concern. I'm writing this letter after trekking through the enchanted lands of the Forgotten Realm. After climbing a mountain of which I believe I've, always, or I've almost reached a summit, I came upon a strange cabin that housed a secret passage dug into the mountain. When I descended into the passageway, I found an entire campsite already set up with supplies and food. Relieved, I partook in these items as my own provisions had run out days earlier. I relaxed that night and slept soundly, only to wake to find a figure standing by the mouth of the cave. He was dressed in a long black cloak and wore a wide-brimmed hat. His collar was so tall it covered most of his face, but from what I could see in the dim light, he was wearing a white mask. He spoke to me about the promise of leading a life of boundless freedom and discovery. As we talked, he would often bring up strange references to the wind, speaking mysteriously about it as if it were somehow he knew, someone he knew. The last thing I remember is making some sort of agreement with him, and then he was gone. I can't seem to recall what this deal was about, or even what happened in the hours that followed our exchange. I have not seen him since, and for the past few days I haven't been feeling quite like myself. If this letter ever reaches someone, know that these are just the ramblings of a potentially delirious traveler. I just thought I might document these encounters. This encounter, for in some unexplainable way, I feel like I won't be in this world much longer. At least, not in the same way I exist in this world now. Well then, that guy sounded like uh, possibly the Grim Reaper of sorts. Well, at least we get to light this one. All right then. Yeah, I knew that we. Uh, I w There's no way I could have bypassed that. I check everything. But it's kind of cool to have a uh, like a a cabin and then it leads down. All right. Well, hopefully that guy led a good life and he didn't die. You know. Too har harshly. But I'm, I'm gonna we're gonna stop right here because we're at the 15 minutes and yeah, we climbed a mountain and met with a bear guy and we learned about what's going to be happening and hopefully we'll reach something at the end of the summit so uh yeah in the next episode we're gonna get a new trekking on but until then until then guys thanks for watching